Good morning. I sure hope you guys had a wonderful holiday and welcome back. It's uh, kind of fun to get started into this new year. First thing I want to tell you parents is that you're going to find in your packet a handout dealing with distractions and making sure that you're carving out a little bit of time every day uh, just with your child with no other distractions going on. This program is really good for doing that, but we want a little bit every day too. So even if you can only do five minutes where you set the timer and say this five minutes is for this child, no other distractions are going to come in and disturb us. That little bit of time, and hopefully you can start adding more time to that as you go on. So please read over that and learn a bit, little bit more about how you can do that. Today we're gonna to be talking about zoo. And the first thing we're going to do is make a cage. So you're going to find in your packet something that looks like this. It's got holes, okay, that are already punched for the, the cage. And there are some different kind of animals in the packet. Let them choose one that they want. They're going to color it, and then they're going to glue it. <clears throat> in the middle of the plate. So make sure, this is kind of the tricky part, you need to make sure it's centered be, uh, between the dots on the top and bottom. If it's ski wampus, then their cage will be ski wampus. And if that happens, that's okay. But, you know, just work a little bit better if it's straight, okay? It's taped onto the back already. Once the picture's on, you're going to start through the top hole and go all the way down. Okay, so they're gonna be lacing all the way down to the bottom. This is good fine motor scale for them. Okay, and then go through here. And instead of going all the way back up to the top, this they're going to need to, okay, so here's the bar on the front. They're going to need to go over to this hole instead of going up and down and up and down because the yarn's not long enough to do it that way. So they're gonna go over to this one, okay? They'll have them poke through here and then go back up to the top. When they get to the top, again, they're going to go over to this hole and then down, over to this hole and then up. Then there'll be enough yarn to make the cage and it will end up looking like this. They've got an animal in the zoo, okay? Then the next thing, we're going to do a little bit of uh, reminisce, uh, reminding about shapes, so have them trace with their crayon or pencil each shape and say the name of the shape and then cut them out. And parents, you can help with the cutting, but let them do some of the cutting too. Once you have them cut out, they're going to glue them anywhere they want to inside this zoo. So it'll end up looking something like this, okay? And then we have a little packet of worksheets so this one, again, they're gonna be looking for what's different. And this one, they're going to count the animals behind the cages and then circle the correct number at the bottom. If they're still learning their numerals, that's okay. Just help them know which one of those numerals represents uh, the amount of animals inside, okay? And then, oh goodness. This one is the pattern one. So they're going to look at the row. Okay, we've got a monkey, an alligator, an elephant. A monkey, uh, ooh, what comes next? They're gonna circle the one that comes next. Okay, so that is it. And then they're gonna do their sticker page. So have them find their animal and put it on their sticker page. <clears throat> and they're going to have a fun book in their packet um, having to do with animals and zoos so we'll let you find that and read that together have a great day and call me if you have any questions thanks bye